In this video, we're going to discuss how to create your own digital billboards advertising network. So why digital billboards instead of the traditional style of billboards? So the new digital style of billboards can show a playlist of multiple ads on a single screen instead of a single ad on a large billboard. So because it's a TV monitor or a large screen or a large computer monitor, uh, it can show anything that can be shown on a computer. So you can page through multiple ads instead of a billboard just can show a single ad. It includes changing graphics, so as it pages through the playlist and shows different ads, that catches the eye because there's movement, there's something changing, there's something new. So automatically our eyes are trained to go to a screen when something changes to see what's new, to see what we might have missed. And of course you can include videos on digital billboards as well, which creates even more motion. Digital billboards are much easier to change. You don't have to send two guys out with ladders and scaffolding out to take down old uh, kind of, you know, posters and then put up new huge ones. Uh, so you're saving a lot of money on those kinds of costs of employees to do that. Another benefit of having a digital billboard advertising network rather than just a single screen uh, is that when you have a single screen, like individual companies can only put their digital signage on their own building. So usually only one or two screens is the max that they can put there. But a billboard advertising network can have screens all over town, anywhere where they can rent space, anywhere where they can uh, put up a screen, anywhere where they can mount these. And of course, you can charge clients for that accordingly if you're, their ads are being displayed all over the city. So what kinds of content can you show on a digital billboard? Uh, pretty well anything you can show on a computer. You can show videos, you can show images, uh, JPEGs, GIFs, TIFFs, any of the common uh, image formats. You can show PowerPoints. Uh, you can even show audio uh, if, if you've got a speaker on the monitor as well. You can show real-time data such as news, weather, sports, uh, investment pricing, upcoming events, countdowns. So there's just a ton of different information you can show on a digital billboard that you know you could not show on a, on a traditional billboard. So where do you get your clients from? Well, first off, you can advertise on your own billboard. Uh, you could put up notes like, caught you looking, or imagine your message here, and people start to think, yeah, that, that, I see that every day. I, I, that always draws my eye. That would be a great place to advertise. So definitely, that's a great way to get clients. You can also approach businesses located close to your billboards or to the corridor where people are driving uh, by your billboards, because those businesses especially, it could be, you know, turn right, you know, turn at the next right or something like that could help bring them in or it's reminding people when they're in that area of town that, that you, your business exists. And you can also join local business groups. Uh, these are all local business groups such as your chamber of commerce or just professional business networking groups are all consisting of businesses that need to advertise. They're always looking for ways to market. So it's a great way to meet and communicate with these people. You can also do uh, philanthropic, uh, you know, advertising as well. You can offer reduced pricing for charities, or you could offer an advertising grant that charities apply for, and then you could choose perhaps the most creative uh, charitable messages that you'd like to do. You can, of course, offer free messaging to a different charitable organization every month, or you can choose one charitable organization you'd really like to support and just give them messaging uh, on an ongoing basis. So what do you need for this? You need locations with power where you have permission to mount screens. Uh, you'll need screens that you can mount. And if it's going to be outdoors, you'll need to uh, have screens that are built that are weather sealed to be able to work outdoors. You'll need player hardware uh, that's going to do run the playlists on the local screen. And you want that to be internet connected so that you can be able to send the files to, the, you know, send the updated playlists to there. And, uh, you know, most, uh, you, you can get lots of little um, computers that will do that. Playlist management software, you're gonna need a way to manage these playlists. And you, of course, want clients who want to advertise. So what should you look for in digital billboards software? The ability to handle a wide range of ad 
formats, the ability to manage playlists, the ability to schedule your playlists and ads, and a reporting function to show how many times a client's ad has been shown. And here's screenshots of two of our playlist management softwares, the iPoint Scheduler and the cloud-based uh, signage tube. You also want to make sure your playlist software can track how many times an ad's been shown so that you can report back to your client that, oh, this, this ad's been shown, you know, the requisite 5,000 times or 3,000 times or whatever it's going to be. So Presentation Point has uh, several pieces of software that can be used for digital signage and digital billboards. First off, our software all works with PowerPoint. So you can use PowerPoint to edit and create your messages, which is much easier for people to handle than trying to work with some sort of proprietary digital signage software. We have a data point for showing live data, such as news and weather and event listings and things like that. And then you can use our iPoint software or Signage Tube software for managing your playlists. And you can find out more by visiting presentationpoint.com. Thanks for listening. Please hit the like and subscribe button as it helps other people find our videos.